Okay, this is a short video um, to very quickly go through how to draw a vector diagram. As you can see, we've got our space diagram here. We've got uh, two vectors in here. We've got a three Newton vector in that direction and 90 degrees round from that, we've got a four Newton vector in that direction. On this diagram, they're both the same length. That's because this is just a sketch. It's a space diagram. It's not drawn to scale. What we're going to do over here is draw that system of forces to scale. So let's start. I've already got my horizontal line in, so I'm just going to very faintly mark off um, our three newtons, and I can use a scale of one newton to one centimeter here. So here we go, one, two, three, Newtons there. Now, after I've done that, this is just using faint lines at the moment, I can go to the start of that line and I can then put a, an outline in for the four Newton force, which is acting at 90 degrees. So I then go around here to 90 degrees, I put a little mark on the paper there, and then I draw another faint line down through here. Draw it longer than it needs to be. And there we have our two faint lines. Now, I can now go back here and I can draw in the real vector. So it goes from there, zero, two, three. There we go. Now I'm going to put an arrow on the end to show which direction it's going in. And then up here, this one's four Newtons at one Newton per centimeter. I'm going to draw it to there. There we go. And put an arrow on the end to show which direction it's going in. And then I'm going to draw this here to show that it's at 90 degrees. Now, next thing to do is to draw a parallel line. This is how we find our resultant. So if I take this vector here and I draw a line parallel to that from here, I know that line is going to be going up at 90 degrees. So put my protractor on the end of the three Newton vector, line it up carefully, and I put a mark at the top there. Again, I draw a very faint line down to that first vector. Now I do the same thing again and I draw a parallel line. I want a line parallel to this one going from the top of this 4 Newton vector across there. Again, here we go. I can either do it this way by marking it off and drawing across or knowing that it's 4 centimetres long I can go to the line I've just drawn and just mark off a point at four centimeters there. And then all I need to do is line up that mark I've just made here with the tip of the four Newton vector. There we go. We can see that these two parallel lines, parallel lines cross at this point here. Very simply, now just join them together. If I place my pencil on that cross and move the rule round to the start point there, I can draw a line. And that is our resultant. There we go. From there down to there. There is our resultant. But what's the resultant value? Well, what we do is we measure it. And here we can see that the resultant value is 5 centimetres. Let's mark that on there. If it's 5 centimetres, it's going to be 5 newtons. There we go. And what direction is that force acting in? Let's have a look here. Let's put our protractor very carefully on. And I can see 
that it's here. If we go around from here, round to 50 degrees, it's, it's more than 50 degrees. It is 51, 2, Ooh, it's halfway, ooh, maybe closer to 54 degrees there. 54 degrees. And I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Label that at 54 degrees. So there we have it. There's our result. Our resultant. is 5 newtons at 54 degrees and that's it.